To make a donation to Give Kids a Fighting Chance, log on to www.givekidsafightingchance.org. All proceeds go to benefit the Boys and Girls Clubs of Worcester. All right, welcome inside the Palladium. Fight three coming up, and that features Telegram and Gazette reporter Marty Luttrell and Steve Parker, a longtime resident of the city and husband of Lannis Rodriguez Parker, who fought here a couple of years ago. And Kevin, so far, brilliant atmosphere here for well, the fights in its sixth year. Yeah, it certainly is. It, and for this fight, too, look for Steve Parker. He's a veteran. He's been in there before. In his younger days, he did box a lot, spends a lot of time down at the boys' club. So you look for him to have the advantage in terms of ring generalship. Now, as for the Marty Luttrell, he's in great shape. We'll have to see how it goes. Tommy Duffy, you've been in the gym with these guys throughout. What do you what do you think from these two guys coming in? Well, you know what, Steve, I can remember Steve for years going to the Boys Club, former director of the Boys Club. So, you know, tonight's all about the Boys Club, and he's a true Boys Club guy. So for me, it's great to see him come out and help our event, and his Gladys has helped us out. So they're really great people. And Marty Luttrell has been dying to fight for years, so he's in great shape for a guy in his 50s. So we just appreciate him coming out. And he was they're totally excited to fight, so this should be a fun fight. Here is Marty Luttrell. He is a business reporter for the Worcester Telegram and Gazette. And he's got two fighting also alumni in his corner with Diane Williamson and Milton Valencia. He is one of the true gentlemen in the journalism field, too, having worked with him and traded stories with him in the streets as well. Really good guy, Marty Luttrell. You know, I think the TNG's 2-0 with the two of them in his corner, so... That's right. A lot on the line right now. Not if you're Marty Luttrell, you got to keep the legacy alive. I tell you, I don't know if I've ever seen anyone down at the gym that enjoyed coming to as much fun as Marty did. He really seemed like he had a great time with it, and it was great to have him down the gym. And there is Steve Parker. And like we said before, I mean, Steve, in his younger days, he fought yeah. a lot. So he's he's been in there before, so he should have the experience factor here. And, at least early on, maybe not punching himself out, conserving a little energy, and, and picking his spots. Latrell obviously is going to be jacked up, and he's probably going to come right out swinging. Marty looks fired up, I'll tell you right now. And of course, as Tommy said, we saw Steve in the gym a lot a couple of years ago, helping out when Gladys Rodriguez Parker was fighting. And we we're underway in fight number three. Parker in the redhead gear, Marty Latrell in the blue. And they tie it up early. This is no shortage of energy early on here between Luttrell and Parker. No, Luttrell, Luttrell is coming straight forward and Parker's coming forward as well. Neither of these two guys wants to take a step back. Luttrell almost got one right under the chin of Parker there, just skivved him a little bit. Parker, grazing blow just on oh, the head. That's a nice Popped jab. there with a jab. Nice jab by Steve, another nice jab. Oh, they, Marty came back with a nice Marty. right right there. Yeah, now they're just kind of feeling each other out right now still, I think, with the jabs. Parker going to the straight right hand. And you know what, that's what makes this event such a great event, is that we have people like this every year that come out. And there's another nice right hand by Steve that come out and help the boys club out. We really appreciate them stepping out and helping the boys club out. We appreciate it. Good rights from Steve Parker. A couple good lefts from Marty Luttrell to end the round. That's a good round. I think it's a good round for, for both fighters. Parker, as we mentioned, the veteran, but Luttrell now has got his first round of his first fight under his belt. I'll tell you, both of them really good. I mean, Steve obviously been down there, but Marty, really nice. He hit with a right hand right there, but he's stepping back with his hands up, in and out. He looks good, comfortable in there. Parker snapping those jabs pretty well, too, throughout that first round. I think they've got to be upstairs. they both got to be happy with that first round. Milton Valencia in the corner with Marty Luttrell. Lieutenant Latrell's in great shape, too. You didn't see him get winded. Nope. As you mentioned, Tommy, about him bouncing in and out. I mean, he was on his toes the whole first round. Yeah, from the first day Monty came down the gym, I'll tell you, he's in fabulous shape. Rocky. Now we are. Look at Monty. He's just he's about set. Monty's ready to go. Oh, Dave, you're after. Uh... I thought you were. Ready to go here in round two. Oh, oh Luttrell oh. with a good pop. It's a slip. Oh, he was hit. Yeah, I think it's a good call. It was a great punch. That's a great punch, but it's, well, we'll have to see it Caught again. Caught him off balance. I think he got a little square there. Yeah, just a, just a footwork thing maybe for Parker, but a pretty good punch by Marty. Now they're just trading on the ropes. I think a little sense of urgency for Parker after that. Nice oh, jab good. by wow. Parker. Yeah, really snapping that jab a out. Nice crisp jab by Steve. From Steve Parker. 
He's not, not letting Marty get in now. He's popped that jab off. Well, he Action's certainly respects the jab of Latrell now. Action has slowed a little here in the middle part of this round. Another nice jab by Steve. When you see there, you see the ringsmanship of Steve Parker. He knows no matter how tired you are, take the fight to your opponent and control it with your jab. Just keep popping that jab out. Control the fight with that jab, and that's what Steve's kind of doing right now. Marty needs to get a little bit more busy. End of round two. It was ruled a slip in the beginning of the round. It could go against Marty Luttrell, because it could very well have been a knockdown. Here it is early. Oh, he got him square in the jaw. That, oh, wow, that's a great shot. That was a nice shot. Just what kind of walks into when they hit him on a button. I'll let you guys take that up with John Zablocki. I'm with him all the way. You guys, well, you guys can take that up with our with our guy in the ring. I'm not going to question his dad. <laughs> he knows more than I'll ever know. No, he's. But then you saw. Then Parker came back yeah. and, he, and had a sense of urgency and kept sticking that jab. Yeah, he was working that jab nice. Yeah, both both guys. There's, da there's Diane Williamson also in the corner. So Unde you got undefeated. Hilton and yeah, Diane in there. They have both won fights in this event. And like I said, we appreciate all three of them and everything they've done for our event. They've really done a lot for us, and we thank them. Here we go. Round three. Luttrell and Parker, and Marty Luttrell sticks a jab to start things off in the third. There's a big right hand by Steve. Marty came out with a nice jab. There's another big right Good hand. Right. Good him right the there from Parker. Latrell is still bouncing on his toes. He's in phenomenal physical condition. Yeah, both these guys look pretty good here in the third oh, round. Big right good hand. combo from Parker. He backs Luttrell up into the ropes. Marty just pushes his way out of there. Parker jumped on him. They had another nice jab. Good left. Parker's really mixing up his punches well, too. He'll slip in an overhand right and threw an uppercut. Another nice jab. He's Steve. staying busy, too, which is helping his defense a little bit. With yeah, the drill. A couple combo there. Steve, really nice nice combo there. One, two. He's just kind of... Marty's got Marty, Marty going backwards right now. And a good job by Marty Luttrell to kind of tie him up there because things were going against him at that point. Good combos there by Parker. Yeah, Parker's just throwing crisp, straight punches. He's really putting it together here in the late, the late round. And that's the end Great of the fight. fight. Great performance by both men. Steve Parker in the red, Marty Luttrell in the blue. Steve Lanama getting right up in his grill for a picture for the telegram tomorrow. Here is round three action. Double jab right hand over the top. And then he just continues to pour it on Latrell. Parker doesn't, you know, doesn't let him get his feet settled, doesn't let him get set at all, just throwing a, a barrage of punches at him. A uh, great fight. Both guys really supported themselves well in the ring. And they could both hang their heads very high with all the work they did and it paid off. They put on a great show there for three rounds. Does Steve Parker even up the record in the Parker household? Because of I course, think, Gladys I think he does. Diane Williamson a couple of years ago. Let's get the final results from Anthony Salerno. Okay, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Foley scores the fight 29. 28, Parker. Judge Rustin scores the fight. 29, 29, a draw. Judge Pasconi scores the fight. 30, 27, the old winner by the majority decision in the red corner, Steve Parker. Parker the winner, back with more from the Palladium after this.